In today's video, I want to teach you a trading strategy which is based on a candlestick pattern and it's called third candle trading strategy. First, let's see what third candle pattern is and how it's identified on the chart. And then I'll show you how you can effectively trade based on this pattern. Third candle pattern is a reversal pattern that gives the signal that the balance of power between buyers and sellers is changing and a reversal and turning in the direction of the market is probably going to happen. In the bearish version of this pattern, it gives the signal that advancing of the price is ending and a downside reversal is probably happening. This pattern forms somewhere in the top near a resistance level or ending point of an uptrend and as we expect for being in advancing of the price, we have a medium to long green candle that this candle is forming somewhere in the top. Better to focus on the cases that there is a resistance level so the risk of counter trend trade are eliminated to some degree. So by having this green candle somewhere near a resistance level we expect that the price is going to stop here and stay here around the resistance level for a while before proceeding in either direction or it may instantly turn and go down which is our preferred scenario here. The next candle in this pattern is at least a short to medium sized red candle that it's high is higher than the previous green candle high. Please pay attention that the second candle should not be very small. It shouldn't be doji or spinning top because we want to see the selling pressure here, not indecision. So the longer the body of this candle and the more it penetrates in the body of the previous candle, it's better. But having a short to medium is enough for this pattern. The important point is that its high should be higher than the previous candle high. And this shows that buyers at first had the control and broke this resistance level of previous high but these high prices were rejected and the bears took the control and pushed the price down and the candle closed like this. The third candle is our confirmed candle. It's at least a medium candle and the longer the body, the better it is. There is no hard rules for where it's closed, but for example, if it's closed below the first candle opening price, it becomes more significant or if it's closed below the first candle low, it gives even more probability and confirm the reversal. Wherever it's gonna close, it totally depends on the market and we must wait until this candle is closed. Only when the candle is closed, the pattern is complete and we could possibly enter a short position on the opening price of the fourth candle. But we're not going to trade only based on this and we need more confirmation to filter the false signals, which I'm going to discuss a trading strategy based on this pattern later in this video. So make sure you watch this video until the end. In the bullish version of this pattern, we have the same setup but in the opposite direction. Here, the pattern forms somewhere in the bottom near a support level or ending point of a downtrend. Better to focus on the cases that forms near a support level so the risk of counter trend trade are eliminated to some degree. Being in declining of the price, as we expect, we have a medium to long red candle that is forming somewhere near a support level. And we expect that the price is going to stop here for a while before proceeding in either direction or it may turn and advance which is our case here. The second candle is at least a short to medium green candle that must show buying pressure. It shouldn't be very short, it should not be a doji or spinning top because we need to see a buying pressure here, not indecision. And the low of this candle should be lower than the low of the first candle. This shows that at first sellers had the control and could break the support level of previous candle low but market participants saw these levels very cheap and the bulls entered in the market and pushed the price up. The more this candle penetrates in the body of the first candle, the better and more significant becomes the pattern. The third candle is our confirming candle. It's at least a medium candle and the longer this candle, the better is the probability of the reversal. For example, if it's closed above the first candle opening price, it becomes more significant or if it's closed above the first candle high, it gives even more probability that the price is going to advance. The important point is that we must wait until this candle is closed and when it's closed based on the definition of this pattern, the pattern is complete and we could possibly enter at the opening price of the fourth candle. Now let me show you how you can trade based on this pattern in practice. This pattern can be used and implemented in many trading strategies in conjunction with different tools or concepts of technical analysis. And here in this video, I just want to show you one simple possible strategy for using this pattern so you will understand how it's used in practice. This pattern is more reliable in intraday timeframes, so it's better to use it for intraday trading like scalping 
scalping and day trading on time frames like one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes, and one hour. Here on this chart, the time frame is set on 15 minutes, and we also added stochastic oscillator with an adjusted settings of seven for K percent length, three for K percent smoothing, and three for D percent smoothing. First, let me show you a long position setup with an example here, and then I'll show you a short position setup here. You can see that near the support level, we have a long red candle and then we have a medium green candle that its low is lower than the first candle low and this candle shows buying pressure here near the support level pretty well then the next candle is also a medium green candle completing and confirming our pattern but for more confirmation we take a look at the stochastic oscillator at the same time that the pattern is forming and developing the stochastic must be below 20 showing oversold status of the market and then k percent line must cross above d percent line this crossing can happen at the same time with our confirmation candle or before that the point is that while the pattern is developing we must have this situation by having all these conditions met we can open a long position here at the opening price of this candle the stop loss for the trade can be placed below the pattern below the lowest low here and for the profit target if there is any resistance level in place you can take your profit when the price reaches to that level and if there is no level ahead you can move your stop loss after each pullback and lock in your profit by doing so you'll get the chance of taking a large profit by riding on the trend if it's going to continue its direction and here on this chart you can see that near this resistance level a long green candle formed and after that a medium red candle with a high higher than the green candle high and then after that another red candle completing and confirming our pattern at the same time that the pattern was developing stochastic was above 80 showing overbought status of the market and then k percent line crossed below the d percent line so we can enter a short position here at the opening price of the fourth candle the stop loss for this trade can be placed above the pattern high and for the profit we can either take it when the price reaches to an existing support level or we can move our stop loss above each pullback and ride on the trend these were just two examples of a simple strategy to show how this pattern can be used in practice but it can be used in many other different ways as part of your trading strategy the important point is that you should never trade only based on this pattern and you must use it in conjunction with other tools and aspects of technical analysis all right that's it thank you for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to ask and leave a comment for me i'll answer your questions as soon as possible if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new video see you guys in next video and good luck with your trading